back in a time when we lived as indigenous people and we lived off of the earth very much connected to the earth at all times we had an innate connection sense groundedness that we don't really have as a human race today we've been really affected by technology and all the things that are going on on a technological level that sort of separates us from that so it's important on an energy level that we get back to being connected to the earth because the earth is alive and very much a living breathing being and she has as much need to be taken care of and to be protected as we do, as our children do. So we have to take a look now at where our energy systems are fully functioning and working well and how we feel things and where they're not. And what I see with people most of all is that the first three chakras are functioning fine. You know, we all have the first chakra, survival, food, clothing, shelter, everyone's concerned with that first chakra level, I've got to survive. Second chakra level, relationships, sexuality, interacting with people on a more partnership level. This is also very much alive and well in people. And the third chakra, which is power and feeling our power and having relationships with lots of people and being in a state of power is also very much alive and well on the planet. Fourth chakra moves into the heart. Everyone knows how to love. We all love our families, our children, our spouses, our mothers, our fathers. But, but loving and the capacity of what humanity is meant to do here on earth really, really equates to loving at the deepest level of your being. This means loving everyone, everyone around the planet as much as you love your own family as much as you love your own children everyone is loved to that greatest capacity that you have this is the challenge for us and as far as I'm concerned this is the mission statement for humanity to love at the deepest level of our beings so if we're doing this and we're loving at that level then we really start to understand that the earth is alive and she is very much a living breathing being and that she's as reliant upon us being her caretakers as we are on her wonderful good graces for having us here with her natural resources and her air and water and land and when in we, when we were in the old days of living more closer to the earth we understood that we were really connected to her we were very much a part of that energy coming up and really intuitively speaking to us the earth definitely talks to all of us and gives us messages so so on an energy level we have energy from the earth coming up through the bottom of our feet to our heart center and we have energy from above from God the goddess the universe great spirit whatever you want to call that higher power coming down through our heads and it meets in the middle this is the magic this is what we all look for this is what we're all craving when we go looking for spiritual ways we go looking for someone to teach us we look for some connection you know religion isn't doing it for us now or we're feeling disconnected from the way we were taught as children this is what we're looking for is that connection between above and below and it literally comes through us from our feet up and from our heads down and the magic is in the middle the magic is where those two energies meet and this is a critical point for everyone to recognize because all of the trees on the planet all of the plants all the animals every single living thing is a conduit for that energy from above and from below.